Hi guys, just doing a short video on the truck that I'm using to make my DIY caravan, RV motorhome, home built motorhome, hope built camper van. Uh, I prefer to talk, call it a tiny house on wheels. Whatever you want to call it, uh, this is the job that I want to do and uh, it'll be a, a very rustic recycled look that I'm going for, uh, hence the word kind of gypsy which some people get upset about but um, I don't see it as an offensive word, it's a, just trying to name the style I'm doing. So uh, if it offends anyone, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't know all the other terminologies for gypsy stuff. So anyway, this is uh, an Isuzu. Uh, total spend so far is only $6,500. It's a 92 model. It's a 250 crew, which means it's a crew cab. It has enough for six people, which I need, with four kids and dog. It's an NKR model, Isuzu. So an NKR. 250 crew cab it's um in pretty good nick for a 92 as you can see like all the doors are there dash was replaced a renderer actually owned this so he trashed the thing pretty badly new carpets all the seats have been recovered reskinned back and front uh, it's a standard five speed it's got air conditioning it's not connected at the moment but it is there so in the back pretty tidy all new carpets New seats, seat belts I just put in two days ago. Uh, all the compliance plates and everything else you can see. So, new headlining. Uh, you know, the batteries are good. All that kind of thing. Mechanically, it's got a few Ks on it though. It's got 400,000 on it. But uh, that's not too big a drama. So, just wanted to do a quick walk around. Uh, I'll be doing a fair few videos on this. So, we'll call this part one the introduction to my tiny house on wheels. Um, and as you can see, nearly everything's been done. New brake lights. It's all had a been re-sprayed with a white two-pack, so not your dodgy kind of bunning spray cans or anything. It's a proper spray paint, so you can kind of see it's nice and shiny. No scratches anymore or anything on it. So yeah, it's um, reasonably tidy. The tyres are all pretty good. And the tipper works. It's a tip tray, and the tipper works quite well. Um, but one of the first things I'll do will be getting rid of all these sides. They weigh about 80 kilos each. It is massive overkill. Because it was a tip truck, it's fair enough to be, you know, needing some pretty thick metal as bulldozers and things would have just dumped stuff in the back. Um, the biggest trick I'm doing is I originally was going to do a bit of cutting and doing a bit of modification so I could build the camper onto that frame. It would almost be a part of the truck, but after doing lots and lots of reading, in short, don't modify any trucks, you'll get in big trouble. Make sure, so you can get around nearly every bit of law that's trying to stop you making a tiny house on wheels, make sure the body you make is slide on, slide off. So for example, all these trays will be gone. Uh, back front sides, I'll cut off there and on the other side, which isn't really considered a modification because it's still got a tray and it still tips. And then I'll build around it, but it will be separate from the truck. So I will have like hydraulics and uh, homemade beams that will come out of here, pretty big with some metal. It'll have a leg that goes down at 90 degrees under the ground with basic hydraulics that'll lift the body off my tipper. So when I don't want the body on it, or if I'm told to get it off, or any you know any dramas, damage to the truck, and I need it off, or or I just want to be able to use the truck for touring more without all that weight and leave the the actual gypsy body behind, I need to be able to do that in a couple of minutes. So that's the rough plan at the moment. A few other plans: move that exhaust. I'm allowed because of 4.5. I'm um, under 4.5 tonnes, I've spoke about that in other videos, it's a little bit more complex than just mentioning that, but I'm legally allowed to move that exhaust, which is awesome, because as you can see, the body would come out here on the truck, and that's totally in the way, so that's good news. Um, the outside will be weatherboard, I've got a guy locally um, who's offered me really, really cheap weatherboards from a 120 year old house, uh, and they're distressed, and they're just going to suit this project down to a T. I've actually had a, put a fair few ads up here and there on Buy, Swap and Sell pages, Facebook uh, and Gumtree, just saying, has anyone got any stuff lying around that they don't use? And the response has just been amazing. So a million thanks to all the people who have been offering me wood and all different things, windows and paint. And it's just amazing, the generosity of people and uh, the interest in the project, which is great. Um, as to, I have a massive interest in the project. It's going to be a, a vehicle that we use to live on the road permanently with four kids and a dog and two of us, two of the adults. So this is going to turn into a body, which will basically go follow the finger across there, all wooden on the outside with a metal frame inside, 50 mil. 50 mil is actually what that, that metal is there. So 
I'll just quickly take you in and show you. Pretty serious stuff. So the frame that'll be all over the side and going over the top of the cab will be 50 mil. Uh, and then wood on the outside so you won't be able to see any of it and it'll insulate better. So I'll just kind of go over it with my finger just to, sorry about all the camera wobble. But in short, there'll be a body that'll go across there, up the back, up to 3.4 metres, right over the front of the truck, right to the limit of the truck. 1.3 meters of loft height and then back again with the loft so you can kind of see what I'm talking about 3.4 meters up a total span from front to back at 5.4 meters so there's basically 2.7 meters in this section and over here there's 2650 roughly so that loft area is only 1.3 meters high but it's actually huge, like 2.6 metres by 2.2 metres basically is about the, the max I can push it. But it, my measurements are more coming into 2 metres by about 2.6. So it'll fit a king king size bed and that kind of thing. So a nice big loft. There'll be a nice big, um, I got a nice big cheap window the other day. 1800 by 900. And that's going to turn into a skylight that'll be over the loft. So a massive skylight that can be opened. Um, and the rest of the truck is it's, it's not going to be a tiny houses in kitchens bathrooms and everything uh, I, I really want it to be more open and for study purposes we've got four kids homeschooling and I want to use this area as super space saving but quite open and nice sorry all see here's some of the kids now they're all over the joint not all of them but some of them but um, I need them all to study in a nice work environment so the back of this truck is basically going to be the body on it like I said and on that wall there'll be desks that come down I think two sets kind of two seaters and they'll all fold into the wall and when they're in use they'll fold down the seats all will be um, like basically benches that we can store in uh, this side will have some bunks because uh, I'd really like to even though the caravan will have a lot more bedding can you stop that Zach 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 stop too noisy stop 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 no uh, so yeah, so the other side on this side will be some bunks that will fold out again from the wall and fold down uh, They won't be used very often But if we didn't want to take the caravan somewhere like say we had to go to Melbourne doing conferences or you know anything like that We don't want to take the caravan then that'll be the perfect way we can fit three people up there You could actually fit four kids in the beds up there and the adults could take down some of the bunks and use them So that's the basic plan. There's a lot more to it uh, as to this side for example when this is made it'll be beautiful old weatherboard once this exhaust pipe's cut out there's going to be a massive roll out pantry here which will come out about 1.5 meters and it'll be quite big all bracketed up on heavy duty hinges and that kind of thing and but it's a big slide out one as slide outs about the best go for that kind of thing space saving and then the actual tray itself from about where that line is there to about that one the top well, the bottom is going to fold down and out. So there'll be a bench all the way across up to that pantry. And it's going to be used as an outside kitchen. And then above that, so you imagine that much weatherboard and everything will, will fold down. And behind it will be a bench. It'll all fold into the steelwork. So you've got a nice long bench, about two metres long, with your pull-out pantry for outdoor cooking here. But the top part of the body, which is all weatherboard again, will be hinged to open up. So you'll have about two metres coming out. So it'll be like a massive solid awning, massive solid annex, um, which will keep you nice and dry and give you some shelter when you're outside cooking. Uh, again, the caravan will have a kitchen and all that kind of thing, but I really want an outside kitchen on this as well, uh, and it can be done so easily and cheaply. So I don't want to blur on too much because I've got a lot of different videos to make about this project. This was just a, as quick as I can introduction to the basics of what I'm going to do to the little Izuzu. Uh, when we start the project which should be very soon once I get the little rego issues sorted out that we've got again that's another video so thanks for watching and we'll keep you up to date Matt from the traveling naturopath thanks a lot